Good morning, my dear Jay Warriors. I was actually sleeping, but you know, I woke up. Uh, for some reason, I felt that the result might be out, and uh, to my surprise, the result was actually out. So, let me quickly get to the main details. Um, and I know it is going to be a difficult time for many students, and uh, obviously, probably a few set of students will definitely be very happy with the result too. So, all all kinds of students will be there. So, my dear students, make sure that first of all. If somebody has got lesser marks for some or the other reason, please ensure that you show your support and strength uh, towards such students, your friends, your colleagues, your batchmates, and uh, especially for the parents too. Please remember that you know these results keep going up and down, and there are many other entrance examinations still on the way which you can consider. And I will talk about it in detail in many other videos. So this is the actual website. Now I'll tell you one big problem over here, and also there is some, uh, you know, uh, some weird things which have happened in the result as well, and these are very shocking and surprising as well. I'll show it to you. But before that, if you go to the main website, you will not find the result link anywhere over here. As you can see, that is the weird part. All that they have put up is this particular notice, declaration of the result. For paper one, paper two result is not yet out. Paper two means that is for B arc and uh, you know B design. So that is not uh, uh, paper one. All right. So paper one results are out. That is what the notice has come. We'll go through this particular PDF in a bit. But what is the actual website where we should check it? So don't worry. You don't have to go anywhere. I have put up the link right in the description box of this particular video which you are right now watching. Okay. So. If you go down below over here, you will see there are two links over here, J result link 1, J result link 2. So first of all, NTA declared the result in the night. It was expected. I told you also that yesterday the result will not come. It will most likely come today morning or you know something like that. And they have done it because you know in the night mostly people are sleeping and the website will not get crowded. But obviously, how can we sleep peacefully when you have created such a big mess, right? Anyways, coming back over here, there are two links. You can click on any of these links. Let's say, for example, you click this link. This particular page will uh, open up. It is in a different website as you can see over here. Okay, it's right over here. All right. And this is uh, J result link to this will also open up the same thing. Just click on uh, the uh, the uh, this particular icon over here j means 2025 session to paper one so you have to click that so right now it is working but i am pretty sure by morning around six o'clock or seven o'clock you know this might get crowded uh, this might get a lot of traffic it might not be able to generate or maybe accept the captcha or you know some website overload might happen so right now if you can check the result it will be good okay so let's uh, also, first of all, hear out from all the students, what do you exactly want to do in the near future? What is your next goal? J advance, other entrance, drop, explore abroad options because this is also a very good thing considering the mess that has happened, obviously. And J advance is obviously the best thing that you can do if you have qualified from the mains towards advance. So let me see what your uh, results are like. So 39% around J advance great and uh, exploring abroad options 4% taking a drop 9% other entrance exams well almost 50% great okay so let's have a look at the notice which has come up and uh, before I show you the notice there is one important thing which I want to point out and this could be a big fraud I will be making a separate video on that as well when I was uh, live in the previous video what I have seen is there are many comments. It's there on the channel itself. There are many, many comments saying that, the, sir, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, I had, I had some other question, but in the, but in the paper, uh, the question printed was different. Uh, especially, I think something related to milliseconds. I read that comment somewhere. It was in milliseconds, but in the final, uh, you know, the uh, OMR response sheet when it was declared. It came in seconds. That was one. So many students are saying many of their answers did not get recorded. Some of them are saying they are not able to see their OMR sheet. Some of them are saying the questions in the exam and in the OMR or whatever printed response they got, 
that is completely different some of you are having that particular issue whatever yeah see this 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 particular comment this is one of those comments sir few of the questions whatever i had answered feels modified like i answered something and the response sheet says otherwise okay so uh, not just on this particular video even on that previous video i had got you know such comments over here uh, saying that you know sir the comments uh, sir the actual actual question is different uh, whereas you know uh, whereas what is there in the omr is little bit different yeah and this has been happening in session one okay so lot of comments are there you can have a look at it now coming back to this particular pdf so let's have a look at what was the statistics yeah what was the statistics and uh, congratulations uh, rock with uh, navin to your brother and hopefully see you for j2026 uh, yeah in the near future because we'll be starting the j2026 batches very soon on youtube as well okay so as you can see okay they have mentioned about how uh, was the paper conducted on which dates in which languages okay that is fine now if you look at the uh, gender category wise distribution of the candidates well this is interesting uh, what is it saying this is for paper 1 second uh, this is session 2 okay april attempt uh, they are talking about the candidates that's around 10 lakh candidates okay and uh, and if you go down a little bit over here we can see how the attendance was see day one i can see around 1 lakh 17 1 lakh 17 so the distribution seems to be fine that means they have been fairly distributed sometimes last year there was a problem one of the shifts had unequal amount of distribution at least the distribution seems to be fair the percentage of attendance also seems to be pretty much fine so no discrepancies over here okay so the number of common candidates for both january and april common people were around 8 lakh 33 thousand number of common candidates who appeared was 7 lakh 75 thousand so the total number of unique candidates this is crazy look at this number this is some unique data point 15 lakh it was expected 15 lakh 39,000 guys this is one of the highest number of j registrations ever that means the competition is going to be scary all right so if you look at the unreserved category around uh, oh the percentile the category wise cutoffs also have been declared and the cutoffs well luckily it is not 94 percentile it is 93.1 percentile it is it is still higher than 90 percentile lot of students have this mentality that sir 90 percentile is it enough to clear j advance as you can see over here it is 93 percentile for unreserved category totally 97000 students are there for pw candidates uh, it is around uh, yep 3950 students ews around 25000 students at 80 percentile obc 79.4 percentile sc 61 percentile is the cutoff for qualifying for j advance st it is 47.9 percentile so if you are above this percentile and you fall under any of these categories and you have a valid certificate then according to this particular cutoff you are eligible to write the j advanced entrance examination which is your final gateway towards iits trip uh, and obviously iser and ist and so many other institutes okay so these are your cutoffs so luckily it is not 94 percentile so but it is still on the higher side only so this is also an open reminder for 2026 and 2027 students that if you fall under the unreserved category you should be in the top 97000 or basically under a lakh only then you are eligible for writing the j advance out of around 15.4 lakh students and next year who knows the competition might be higher or even lower but it is expected every year usually it bumps up a little bit but there could be surprises we'll have to wait and watch all right so uh, this is for paper one the, how many students gave it now you can also see who are the toppers who have scored you know um, almost like 100 percentile and all that the following candidates in ascending order have obtained an nta score of 100 in j mains 2025 paper one 
okay so basically 100 percentile so you can see students some students from rajasthan they have obtained you know some students from west bengal then some maharashtra karnataka telangana and gujarat so all these students have scored basically 100 percentile but also there is a tie breaking criteria by which the all india rank one gets decided keep that in mind okay so just because you have the same uh, same scores does not also mean you get the same rank obviously the rank gets decided on some priority order all right so state wise stoppers are also mentioned over here a lot of students you can see with 100 per score and uh, category toppers and other things are also mentioned right over here yep and they have mentioned how the scores are normalized etc and if there is any special information the let's see no there are no yeah this this particular article is also important and a warning stark reminder for future aspirants unfair means uh, 39 students results were not declared because they were found to be indulged in some unfair means and during session 2 110 candidates the number increased i don't know why because we had already warned students don't use anything unfair because what happens is uh, they are using cctv cameras artificial intelligence and other techniques to see if any student is cheating or not so by no means you should be doing anything unnecessary and even if somebody is doing anything don't bother let them do whatever they want it's not your duty to go and complain or anything let them do whatever they want always look after yourself that's all i i say okay so they are also talking about some instructions which were given and all that paper 2 j result will be issued very very soon so the website link like i said before it is on a new website so as you're watching this particular video the link has been updated in the description box as you can see right over here these are the two links now i want to know from you i want to know from you uh, do you want me to conduct counseling classes like which colleges what are the different options or what kind of uh, career options what kind of branches what kind of colleges entrance tests etc that is specially for 2025 so if you want me to do that please smash that like button okay so then i'll get an idea and also we'll leave a comment below this particular video yep so uh sir i've got 90 percentile am i eligible for j advance no uh, if you are in the general category i don't think so but as you see over here the cutoffs have been ex explicitly mentioned as you can see let me just uh, put it up over here where did it go it went somewhere on the top yes the cutoffs are right over here my dear students this is the cutoff where did it go yeah see this is the cutoff this is basically the cutoff yeah 100 to 93 percentile so these are the cutoffs for j advance all right okay right so if you want me to do anything please let me know in the comments below and uh, please share this video with your friends and all the very best to all the students and congratulations to all the students who did well and who expected slightly better than you know uh, probably what you were thinking you will get and uh, if there were any discrepancies in your result please let me know in the comments then we'll have to again make sure that nta hears it because see guys uh, if something has gone wrong you cannot just silently say okay leave it nobody will understand me i received many comments in fact on the previous videos there are a lot of comments saying sir my parents won't understand sir nobody will understand they think that i am lying but my advice is please uh, you know just at least watch the videos which we have made you will understand that genuinely there are really big concerns and it's not one or two students many students have been facing these concerns so if this is the case i feel the paper should not be even online it should be conducted offline because then there is no way for anybody to know that you know whether you are lying or whether uh, you know actually there was a problem and everything will be clear if the paper was in offline mode we know what the question was asked there will be no discrepancies or else people are always confused the software did not accept it or maybe you know the question was slightly different all these problems won't come so uh, how to apply for j advance go to the j advance website soon there will be a link which will pop up uh, popping up j advanced just go to j advance official website soon there will be a registration online direct registration oh it is uh, open this online foreign nationals okay it will it will open up i think very soon yeah it will open up online direct registration is now open for foreign so for foreign nationals it is open right now so i think for indian nationals also it will open up very soon okay cool all the very best guys 
bye bye take care and please like the video if you want me to con conduct counseling and mention the examination or the college that you 